What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here and today we are talking about some more modern combo decks with Modern Horizons 3. I just want to kind of go over a lot of the new decks. Uh, if you checked out my last video, Ruby Storm, that was uh, a really sweet deck. Uh, you can check it out right up there if you haven't yet. And of course, make sure to like Comment down below what you think about this deck list and what you would change. And of course, subscribe. And additionally, if you want to support the content in a more direct way, right here on YouTube, you can become a member for as low as less than a cup of coffee. You can support the content that I make here on YouTube. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's jump into this deck tech. We've got... Nadu combo. So what in the world is Nadu? It is the brand new bird wizard. There's been a lot of bird wizards that have been shaking things up in multiple formats recently, but Nadu winged wisdom is a three mana three, four legendary creature bird wizard. It has flying and creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Not tapped, very important. Also, uh, otherwise, put it into your hand. This ability triggers only twice each turn. Twice each this turn. We used to have once this turn. Now we have twice. Twice might as well not even be on this card because what are we going to do? We have to find ways to uh, target things for free, right? So Shuko, that's why this card is now... Uh, $15, Shuko. It doesn't matter what it... It could be a ham sandwich. What matters is it equips for zero. So as you're comboing off, as you're uh, revealing cards with Nadu, this just equips for free. We also have Outrider in core, which is a card... If you don't know what this card is, I do not blame you. It is a three mana 2-2 two -two with flanking. <laughs> um, but... More importantly, it has a zero ability. The next one damage that would be dealt to Outrider in core this turn is dealt to target creature you control instead. So you can target other creatures. Um, and then we also have some other cards from Modern Horizons 3, such as Guide of Souls, which is the new Soul Sister essentially. But it's got some energy applications. Whenever you attack, you may uh, pay three. When you do, put two plus one plus one counters uh, on uh, and a flying counter on target attacking creature, it becomes an angel. So yet another free, quote-unquote, free mana-wise uh, thing to target your creatures with. We've got Felia, which is the good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, <laughs> two mana, two, two with flash. It's a dog. Whenever it uh, attacks, exile up to one other target non-land permanent. At the beginning of the next instep, return the card uh, to the battlefield under its owner's control. If it entered under your control, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter. So again, this is another way to uh, target for free. We've got four Spring Heart Nantuko. This is a, another brand new card. This is, I mean, all these cards. Nadu and Spring, uh, Spring Heart Nantuko work so well together. It has Bestow. Uh, enchant creature gets plus one plus one but it has landfall whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control you may pay two if spring if it's attached to a creature you control so if it is bestowed uh create a token that's a copy of that enchantment if you didn't create a token create a one one insect so what you do is you just make a bunch of insects you have shuko on the battlefield you equip the shuko or uh you target it with guide of souls and you continually just drawing or looking at the top card, putting it into play if it's a land or putting it into your hand. And then that kind of just snowballs and you are able to essentially draw your entire deck. And of course, there is a Thassa's Oracle that is the main win condition in this deck. Uh, we do have Sylvan Safekeeper, which again is another free target. You can sacrifice, I say free, but you can sacrifice the land that you hit off of Nadu and obviously tap it for mana and then target creature you control gain shroud until end of turn one thing about shroud though is if you use shroud obviously you can't target it with shuko anymore for that turn so make sure you do that towards the end of your combo cycle we do have 
wall of roots as a way to ramp delighted halfling obviously the pretty much the best uh land war elves ever and then to fairy time ravelers there to deal with problematic uh permanence and then also not allowing your opponent to interact on your turn but wait there's another card here we've got primal prayers it's a four mana enchantment uh when it enters the battlefield you get two energies you may cast creature spells with mana value three or less by paying energy rather than paying their mana cost if you cast a spell this way you may cast it as though it had flash are you kidding me what is this deck? This deck is insane. Of course, there's four quarter calling, so you can go find find your Nadu. One endurance. Um, this deck, I've seen some board states on two turn two and three, and holy smokes, it gets out of control insanely fast. Is this the new Hogak? I'm not sure, but we definitely this is on the watch list, right? This card above Ral. Uh, above any other nonsense that they've printed in Modern Horizons 3 is definitely the card that has got to be on the watch list for the band. Is this going to hit the band hammer or will the format be able to adapt? Because remember, last time we had a Horizon set, everybody thought Asmo, Randa, Disney, Dyke, the Gold, however you say it, Asmo was going to be the hot card. That card was very expensive at first. And then it is obviously like a $2 card and nobody really plays that deck other than like FNMs and stuff. So is this another Asmo uh, case where this is just the best thing to do out of the gate and no one really knows how to play against it? Or is it a Hogak situation where this card is just completely busted in half, absolute utter nonsense and needs to be banned very soon? I don't know. Time will tell. Let me know your thoughts. There's a sideboard. I'm not going to go through it. You can check it out. But yeah, I will put the link to this deck list in the comments section. This is not my deck list, but uh, shout out to Everyman0815 on Moxfield for the deck list. And this is the deck that everyone's talking about. Like I said, link will be down below. Like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And again, if you want to become a member, support my content here. I'm going to really try to start doing more content focused on other formats just rather than just Pioneer and uh, Explorer. So if you're into Modern and Commander, I'm going to be making some, some of those videos as well, as you can see. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'm Les Alex, and I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Adios.